Hey guys, welcome to another video in the channel. In today's video, we're talking about the differences between the two main methods of accounting, cash accounting and accrual accounting. So what we'll do is we'll jump into my computer here and I'll show you an example business. This is a plumbing business and we'll go through our two transactions, one for revenue and one for costs. And then what we'll do is we'll record the journal entries both under cash accounting and then under accrual accounting. And then we'll tie these transactions right into the income statement, both under the cash accounting and under the accrual accounting method. And look at the difference in the presentation on the income statement between the cash accounting and the accrual accounting method. So we'll go into that and then I'm gonna tell you basically which business is able to use this oversimplified method of accounting, which is cash accounting, right? So not every business is able to use this, only some businesses can. So we'll go through that. That's the topic of this video today, so stick around. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Bill Hanna, I'm the financial controller. I'm a licensed CPA in the great state of New York, and I have over 15 years of experience in the field of finance, where I started out at PricewaterhouseCoopers as an auditor, and then I transitioned out to private industry, and then I worked my way up from a financial analyst position all the way up to a corporate controller position, which is what I do today. And this channel is all about giving you the summary or the juice of my experience over the last decade and a half. And I do this here in the YouTube channel, as well as on my website through blog posts, an online course and templates. So go ahead and check that out as well. All right, so first a couple of definitions before we go ahead and jump into the example for today. So a definition for cash accounting and for accrual accounting, okay? So cash accounting is a simplified method of accounting that says you record the transactions on the books when the cash hits the bank, right? So it's very, very simple. You record the transactions on the books when the transaction, either if it's revenue, the cash is received in the bank, or if it's a cost or an expense is when the cash is dispersed from the bank. So that's cash accounting, right? Cash accounting is very oversimplified method of accounting. Now the flip side to that is accrual accounting. Now accrual accounting is the method of accounting that is approved by the US GAAP and IFRS, right? So it's a more accurate and more correct way of accounting. And the definition of it is that you record revenue when the revenue is earned, right? Regardless of when the cash is received, it's only when the revenue is earned right and then for expenses and when the when the actual services or when the expense is incurred right also regardless of when the cash is spent right so obviously this would result in a more accurate picture of the business and a more fair representation on the income statement and the balance sheet all right now let's jump into my computer and look at a couple of real life examples so what we have here is a company called plumbing express inc and this company provides plumbing services and hires subcontractors to perform the actual work right so this is a company that goes out and gets the actual customers right and then when they get the customer the subcon the subcontract out the work to subcontractors and pay them for their services okay so the business engaged in the uh, following transactions transaction number one the company sells ten thousand dollars worth of plumbing services on december 24th 2020 so that's on this on christmas eve the company issues the client an invoice and the client pays on January 10th or 20th rather 2021 okay so in this example the company uh, sold ten thousand dollars worth of services of plumbing services in December of this year or 2020 and then they will collect the cash in January of 2021 okay so let's go through the recording of this transaction right so under the cash accounting um, when you record this transaction in 2020 there will be nothing to record because basically in 2020 there's no cash right remember cash accounting is based on cash received and cash spent right so in this in this case here there's nothing here in terms of cash because the cash will come later in january right so nothing to record in 2020 and then in 2021 um, the cash is going to be received so you're going to debit cash for ten thousand and you're going to credit revenue for ten thousand okay so that's how you record this transaction under the cash accounting method let's look at the second transaction here and it's a cost or an expense so in this transaction the company pays subcontractors for december 2020 five thousand dollars but the payment is made to the subcontractors in december 29th of 2020 so in this case the company is paying five thousand dollars to the subcontractor for the services of december 2020 and it's paying it in the same month right so it's very simple uh in this case actually the transaction both under cash and accrual accounting will be the same right because you're paying the money in the same month where the service is performed right so let's go to the uh, go through the recording of the transaction uh under cash accounting this transaction will be debit to cash uh, in 2020, or rather credit to cash, because this cash is going out $5,000, right? And debit to uh, labor costs $5,000. 
uh, nothing to record in 2021 here because this all happened in December and like we said under cash and accrual uh, both get recorded in December because this is the month that it uh, actually got incurred the actual cost and it's the same month where the cash is spent so under both is the same way to record it so let's look at the income statement then for this um, for the company under the cash accounting method right so under cash accounting in 2020 um, you have no revenue because you're using cash accounting clearly you know there's no revenue because the cash is going to be received in the subsequent year right so zero revenue and then you have cost of five thousand dollars because that's when you spend the cash on the subcontractors leaving you with a gross profit or loss in this case is a loss of five thousand dollars so as you can see here this is not a fair presentation of the business right uh, this business clearly has some revenue in December, but because they're using the cash accounting method, then the cash is received in January of the next year. That's why uh, looking here at the income statement, they have a loss of $5,000. But then in 2020, uh, 2021, they have revenue of 10,000 because that's when they receive the cash. So recorded in 2021. And then they have the cost of $0. Again, this is not fair, right? This is not a fair presentation of the business showing you a gross profit of $10,000. So uh, as you can see, cash accounting is not showing the correct picture of what's going on in the business. And one year is showing a loss. Another year is showing the entire revenue as profit. So it's a complete mismatch and completely violating the matching principle in accounting, which says that you should record the, tra the transaction from a revenue and expense expense standpoint in the same period right so the matching expense should be recorded with the revenue in the same period this is the one of the core principles in accounting which is the matching principle Now let's look at the same transactions if we're recording them from the standpoint of accrual accounting. So accrual accounting is the method of accounting that is approved by the US GAAP and IFRS. Okay, so we said the company sells $10,000 worth of services in December uh, and then uh, issues an invoice and gets paid in January of 2021. So this is easy. So for 2020, in terms of recording, um, there is no cash to record here. The cash is received in the next month, but you have to record a uh, accounts receivable, right? So the accounts receivable debit for $10,000 and a credit to revenue for $10,000. So this is correct, right? This is the right way to do it, right? So the revenue is earned in December. You've got to record it in December, right? You're not going to wait till the cash is received. So uh, this here will be debit to accounts receivable and credit to revenue. And then in 2021, you will have cash coming in, so you'll debit cash and your credit AR to close out the AR, right? So now you have a cash for $10,000. And we look at the second transaction here that says the company pays subcontractor for December 2020 $5,000 and the payment is made in uh, or on December 29th. So for this here, I, we said that this transaction is actually the same under cash and under accrual accounting because the service is rendered or uh, the cost rather is incurred in December and paid in December. So really cash and accrual accounting is gonna be the same here. Uh, credit to cash and debit to labor cost. Okay, now let's look at the accrual accounting income statement in this case. So this is the income statement that will be then uh, is in uh, accordance with US GAAP and IFRS. Um, in 2020, uh, you'll have revenue for $10,000 and you'll have a cost for $5,000. Right, so that leaves you with a gross profit of five thousand dollars, and this is the right way to show it. Right, this this looks more fair and shows the business activity correctly. And then in 2021, from an income statement standpoint, there is nothing to record here. There is no revenue. There are no costs, uh, at least based on these transactions that we just talked about, and the gross profit is zero accordingly. Okay, so as you can see, the looking at both pictures here at the accrual income statement and the cash income statement, uh, that the cash income statement is not a, an accurate picture of the business. The accrual income statement is the one that fairly represent the financial position of the business. All right, now that we talked about the differences between cash accounting and accrual accounting in this example, let's talk about which companies can use uh, cash accounting, which is a very oversimplified method of accounting. Okay, so usually small companies at the beginning of their uh, business cycle, they will use cash accounting because it's easy and they usually don't have an accounting on an accountant on hand to do the, the actual activity on the books. And so they would use cash accounting, right? It's simple. Cash comes in in the bank, record as revenue, 
cash spent from the bank recorded as an expense, right? But as they grow, they will fall under some regulation or another that will require them to use a US GAAP approved method, which is accrual accounting. Okay, so let's begin from the top. So if you look at very big companies, right? Publicly traded companies, these companies will fall under the regulation of the SEC, right? So under the regulations of the SEC, accrual accounting is the only method of accounting. You cannot use cash if you are publicly traded, right? You cannot use cash accounting, so it's accrual accounting, right? As you go down uh, in size, right? So big companies, obviously accrual accounting, then you have slightly smaller companies that have investors, so they're not publicly traded, but you have investors, right? These investors are not gonna approve of the company using cash accounting, right? Because it's not gonna show the right performance of the business. So it's, the company will have to use accrual accounting if it has investors, any kind of investors, whether it's privately uh, through VC or through private equity, or if it's publicly traded um, with the public investing in a company. So whenever you have investors, it's gonna be very difficult for you to use cash accounting and you're gonna have to use accrual accounting. Now, if we even talk about smaller businesses that don't have outside investors, now you can begin talking about using cash accounting, right? So with small, small businesses, you can use cash accounting. However, there are some IRS regulations. So this is, this is specific to the US. You're gonna have to look in your uh, country if you have uh, tax regulations that prevent from using cash accounting in the US. The IRS would allow a business to use cash accounting if it has less than $5 million a year in gross revenue, right? So if you're smaller than that, you can use cash accounting. But the exception to that is manufacturing businesses, right? Manufacturing businesses, by definition, cannot use cash accounting. If a manufacturing business uses cash accounting, you'll see a complete mismatch between revenues and cost of goods sold because the company will record revenue when the cash is received from the customer and then record the cost of goods sold when the cash goes out to buy raw materials and labor and things like that. So this will be a complete mismatch between the two and the right way to do it will be to book the revenue when you actually transfer the goods or transfer the risk of the title of the goods to the buyer and then the cost of goods sold is recorded as a reduction of inventory as you go ahead and sell this or transfer the title to the buyer. So this was a quick summary on the differences between cash accounting and accrual accounting. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.